Okay, now I'll prove the other two properties of logarithms, namely um, the quotient property and the change of base formula. So the third property of logarithms states that the log base b of x divided by y is equal to the log base b of x minus the log base b of y. We'll call that the quotient property. And uh, the change of base formula, which is really, really neat, says that the log base b of x is equal to the log base y of x divided by the log base y of b. Um, basically it says you can take the logarithm of any base and change that base to whatever you want. Um, and normally you let y be either 10 or the natural base e, simply so you can use your calculator, but you, you can really do it, you can really change the base to anything. You can change the base to be 100 million if you want, or 0 0.001 if that suits your fancy anything. It's just a neat formula. Okay, so let's prove the first one, <clears throat> or, or the third one rather, the quotient property. So <clears throat> the quotient property really relies on the product property, and since we know, so we know, we know uh, that the log base b of x times y is equal to the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. Okay, we know this. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to change this product to be a quotient, which are like super closely related, right? So instead, instead, uh, consider the log base b of x over y, but really this is just the log base b of x times y to the minus 1. These are the same thing. So now we can really just use uh, the, the product property. So we can say that this is equal to the log base b of x plus the log base b of y to the minus 1. But here we can uh, employ the exponent property and just bring this minus 1 out front. So we have the log base b of x plus negative 1 times the log base b of y. Well, this is just the log base b of x minus the log base b of y. So we have the log base b of x divided by y is the log base b of x minus the log base b of y. And that completes the proof for the quotient property. Okay, so now uh, the change of base formula. Okay. Okay, so let um, y equal to the log base b of x. <clears throat> Well, that means that b to the y is equal to x. And now just take the log of both sides, uh, and it doesn't matter what base you use, so take the log base u of b to the y, and let that be equal to the log base u of x. Well, now using the exponent property, we can just bring y out front, make it a product. So y times the log base u of b equals the log base u of x. And I'll isolate y so that y is equal to the log base u of x divided by the log base u of b. But remember that y is equal to the log base b of x. So we have log base b of x equals the log base u of x over the log base u of b. Haha, -ha, change of base formula works. Amazing. <laughs> and that concludes uh, properties of logarithms.